back for the second period here at the Bethlehem YMCA. Two to nothing. BC in the lead over CBA. I'm Ben Myers for the TimesUnion.com and the Sidelines blog. Shots in the first period, 12 for the Eagles, only six for the brothers. No power plays in the first 15 minutes of play. Goals for the Eagles came from John Costola and Sam Vincent, the two leaders on the team for BC. So CBA gonna try and get back into this one on the offside. Well, off uh, bench goals in this period. Chance right in front, right off the rip, and it hits Sanchez and pops over the goal. Came from John Bassett right there, who has three goals so far this year for the brothers. Right back the other way for the Eagles, and they'll get a chance from Vincent, but Vincent hits the side of the netting and is unable to get anything on the rebound. So one minute already gone by. Like we said, no penalty thus far in this one. CBA, another chance in front. Now they're going to go behind the net, try the wraparound. And they knocked back in the corner by the defense. Bassett had the chance there for CBA. And Brothers coming out looking much better here in the beginning part of this second period. Chance, a shot on again. This time Sanchez is going to hit it into the corner. Chris O'Keefe had it that time for the Brothers. Cleared out of the ice and into the neutral zone. And CBA is going to have to back up and try again this time as Chris Post has it along that left side. Left lap, just dumping in along the right wing, eventually grabbing it to Sam Mail. Mail loses it, a shot on, saved by Smith. And like we said, we're right to the right side of the CBA bench, so we can't see that deep corner along that edge, just the way things kind of shake out here in Section 2 Hockey. 13 minutes left to go in the first period. CBA has something going along the right edge, but can't keep the hold, and eventually going to be cleared out by Shepardson. He goes cross ice, and a shot on there by Bethlehem, but it's going to go high and wide to the left. CBA brings it right back down. McMahon has it, dumps in, trying to get something on, excuse me, not McMahon on that one, it was Glennon. Glennon to the right of the goal, was unable to keep it in. Cleared out by Bethlehem, and CBA is going to grab it at the back. And eventually going to have a nice long pass up here to Harrison, who's going to tip it into the zone. Gathered at the back by Flagler for BC, and he's going to come out with it. Gets it over the blue line in the neutral ice. BC has something going here. Up the middle, now chance in the slot, but they'll lose the handle as Grace couldn't hold it in. BC loses it back to CBA. CBA, McMahon over the blue line, shot on, but it's high and wide to the right. And eventually cleared out by the Eagle defense. We're going to have a couple of bodies meet and a whistle here. I'm sure what the call was. Looks like it's something as simple as offside. Again, CBA. 12.07 left in the second period. Two nothing Eagles in front. Faceoff goes to the Eagles this time. We said CBA had the better of it on the faceoff in the first period. Brought along the right side by Vanders or Vanson Big. And bounce along a couple now into the corner again. Eagles trying to get out in front. Loose puck in front of the goal. And Smith had to upend an eagle in front. And now eventually the defense is going to corral and drop it out of danger. We're going to wave off the icing. And DC goes back behind the goal with Moran. Moran there trying to get it out. Now it's loose in front. Sanchez has to touch it. The keeper is able to knock it in the corner, and BC is going to go the glacial route to get it out of the zone. It back in the neutral ice, and now coming up after it is Vincent. Vincent in the slot. Tries to get a backhand on, but Smith is going to make the save on that one with 11-11 left in the second period. Back out in neutral ice and gathering at the back. Back, and then now we're in the neutral ice again, but this time CBA has the handle. Shot on, hits Sanchez in front. He can't hold on to the rebound. Chance there for CBA on the rebound for Bassett, but he was unable to get any tape to it. Now breaking out is BC, coming back up that left side is Shepardson. Shepardson, Chance, and Smith is going to make a nice save and sit down with it with 10.49 left in the period. Faceoff's going to come to Smith's right-hand side, knocked into that obscure corner. 
Nobody's emer emerged from the Bermuda Triangle just yet. Now the puck comes out and back into neutral ice. Knocked back by State. And he's going to give it to Flagler, who's going to come up the left. Off a couple defenders and off the stick of Smith into the corner. Now BC's going to have a chance there. Eagles can't get anything going just yet. Defense is strong. Now they'll get a chance in front, but it'll be knocked away by McMahon of CBA into the corner. 10-15 left in the second period. 2-0. Bethlehem out in front. You're listening and watching Sidelines at TimesUnion.com. Three on two chance for CBA. Wristed in and bounces over the goal. Fernandez lost. Excuse me. Sanchez lost the view of it for just a moment, but it was out onto the side anyway. Now coming up that left side will be Scro for the Eagles. He loses the handle. Dumped back into Bethlehem Ice. Less than 10 minutes to go in the period now. Like we said, no penalties thus far in this one. Typically the uh, biggest offender on either side is Parente for Bethlehem. He has over 13 minutes of penalty time logged already this season, but he hasn't gotten anything yet. Breakaway opportunity for CBA. Coming up the left side. Chance on. Shot and in and score for the brothers. Stay in front of Evan Van Epps. And now it's 2 to 1 BC in the lead. Third goal of the season for Van Epps comes with 9.26 left in the period. Already back to action, already another chance for CBA. This is going to hit a defender and bounce behind the goal. Line. Nick Costola gets it out, hits his brother John, who tries to go cross ice. They're going to wave it off and it's going to go the length of the sheet. CBA in the corner. Now it's going to be Sam Vincent. Vincent out to the post. Chance is trying to pass through. Chance right on the doorstep. John Costola had it. He was denied. It was either by the pipe or the keeper. And we're going to have a delayed offside against Bethlehem with less than nine minutes to go. Costola put both hands to his head and then hit his stick hard on the ground in frustration. Golden opportunity there just to the left of the so they give Harrison the assist. Tenth point of the season for Van Epps. Three goals, seven assists for the forward so far. Shot on, shot on Sanchez there, but he'll make the stop and cover up with 8.47 left in the second. Two to one. CBA out. Or CBA trails. That's line. Face off to Sanchez right, the one by CBA, and they're going to keep it in. They're going to the corner as Glennon chases, and it's unable to get there. BC trying to get it out of danger, can't do it yet. Now they're trying, now they have a potential breakaway situation with a four on three. They'll get it, shot on blocker, save made by Dakota Smith and knocked up over the glass. Another stop in the play, 8.30 left in the second period. Back into that Bermuda corner, can't see what's going on. Puck emerges and hits Smith, but he's able to knock it away. I'll go back into that corner now. They'll go along the width of the boards, and CBA is going to finally emerge with it. Nice little 180 move there by McMahon. Leading score for CBA so far this season. He has seven goals being held in check so far tonight. Over the blue line, CBA has been able to keep this thing uh, on the offensive side for quite some time here. Brothers playing much crisper hockey in the second period. Steal, turnover, and Bethlehem Ice. Chance in front. Hits a defender, though, and going to be knocked into the slot. And it's going to be eventually. No, they're not going to be able to clear this. CBA is going to be able to hold in once again. Bethlehem will go along the boards, and eventually he's going to hit the Gostola, and he's able to tip it out. Chance in front. Now Vincent had it for a moment, but was unable to get any good tape on it in the slot as the pass was made by Zach Flagler right there. Back into that corner, 2-1. to one. Bethlehem in front, 7.20 left. Can't see what happened, but there is a whistle. It'll give us a chance to step aside here on sidelines. I'm Ben Myers for TimesUnion.com.